Hello, I'm David Forte, a professor at Cleveland Marshall College of Law here at Cleveland State University. Beside my love of teaching, I research. My research interests are solving mysteries, mysteries in areas such as constitutional law, Islamic law, and a special place called natural law. I've worked in dozens of research libraries all over the country, pouring through uncounted hundreds of original manuscripts. I guess you could call me an academic sleuth. For example, one of the most famous cases in American history is Marbury versus Madison, decided in 1803, confirming the Supreme Court's right to test the constitutionality of congressional statutes. Marbury, who wanted to be a justice of the peace, was refused to be appointed by Jefferson. But who was this man Marbury, and why did he sue? My research has shown that it was a political tactic from the get-go thought up by a few Federalist Party leaders to try to keep Jefferson from firing other judges. But both Chief Justice John Marshall and President Jefferson escaped that trap. Here's another mystery. Why was President Woodrow Wilson such a crusader against civil liberties in the last two years of his administration? And how did President Warren G. Harding seek to undo and rectify Wilson's excesses? I shall tell that story in an upcoming article. In constitutional law, the idea championed by figures such as Justice Antonin Scalia is called originalism. That is, we should interpret the Constitution's words based on what the framers and the founding generation thought they meant. Is there a way to find out the original understanding of every phrase in the Constitution? I think there is. Another of my areas is Islamic law. So just what is the Sharia and how did it actually develop? Is it as central to being a Muslim as many people think? I'm working on a history to show how this came about. Lastly, here in the West, we have a tradition called natural law. The idea that there are certain fundamental principles that no ordinary law can contradict such as the value of human life. But how relevant is natural law today? Through my work at Cleveland State University, I shall continue to be a sleuth to solve mysteries, to break the bubble of received ideas that need a second look. And now, back to work.